Okay. Um, hello everyone, my name is Akmal Jung, as you see at the screen, and I'm going to be talking about the topic, name it, content and main stages of investment process in banks. And here I should mention that maybe the topic looks so easy, but this is kind of very difficult to find the right, uh, appropriate information about it. But still, I'll try to explain with all my might, uh, so that it is clear, and also I'll try to explain in the short and understandable way. And let's just not waste time and go straight to the contents of the project. So as you see, I divide uh, I divided this kind of project into six main parts. Um, like the first one is about the introduction. In the introduction part, I'll try to explain the uh, background information. I'll try to give the background information on investment process in banks in and importance of the topic and purpose of the study. So the next one is about the me um, methodology. Uh, here I give the information about research design and data collection methods and something like that. So the first third one is uh, results and analysis. Uh, as you know, the mining investment objectives and portfolio management and allocation. Also identifying appropriate investment strategies. The fourth one is a case study. Uh, here I give the case examples of successful investment processes in banks. So the fifth one is a discussion. Uh, evaluation of the efficacy of the invest investment process in banks. And also the comparison of investment uh, process among different banks. So at the end I'll try to conclude uh, with identifying the significance and also to give us uh, kind of recommendations. So we can move to the uh, next part, like mission statement. So um, the purpose of the work is a theoretical study of investment activity of banks and its main stages. And that means the research presents a theoretical study of investment activity uh, of banks. The approaches of various researchers are considered and also approach, approaches to the definition of the concept of bank investment are presented and the necessity of investment of economic development is revealed and the role of banking institutions is the financial system is investigated and also the main aspects of for, and forms of bank investment are considered. The stages of investment management at the bank level are given. So. Uh, we can move to the first introduction part that consists of three topics like background information on investment process in banks, importance of the topic and purpose of the study. So uh, investment process in banks refer to the various types uh, steps of uh, steps and procedures that are followed by banks when making investments on behalf of their clients or themselves. Uh, this process uh, typically involve assessing the risk and potential return of different investment options, creating investment portfolios and monitoring the perform performance of investment over time. So after the portfolio has been created, banks will monitor the performance of the investment over the time to ensure that they are meeting the investment objectives overall. The investment process in banks is a complex and dynamic process that requires careful planning, analysis and monitoring to ensure that the bank's investments are generating the desired returns while managing risks um, effectively. So investment process in banks are crucial for the banking industry for several reasons, like for the revenue generation, generation like bank generate a significant portion of their revenue throughout uh, investment activities. And for the reason of risk management, like investment process help banks to assess uh, and manage risks shared with uh, the investment activities. And uh, the reason of regulatory compliance, like banks are subject for the, uh, to various regulatory requirements such as capital adequacy, liquidity and asset quality. And for the reason of reputation management and customer service, like investment processes play a crucial role in delivering excellent customer service. Bank use uh, the investment activities to offer a wide range of investment products and service to their customers, such as 
mutual funds, bonds, and stocks. So, in fact, investment processes are essential for the bank uh, banking industry as they help bank to generate revenue, manage risks, comply with regulations, maintain a positive reputation, and deliver excellent customer service. So we can move to the methodology part. So uh, the research was conducted using the Imrat method, as you can see at the screen, which involves uh, the following sections like introduction, methods, or we can say methodology, results, and discussions. Uh, the study used secondary sources such as academic uh, journals and uh, various types of articles uh, books and electronic resources. The methodology section of research on the topic and the main stages of investment process in banks outlines the research design approach and methods used in conducting the study. This section provides a clear understanding of research process and the steps taken uh, to obtain reliable and valid results. So uh, the methodology section of the research on the main stages of investment processes in banks outlines the research design, data collection, sampling, data analysis, validity and reliability as well as ethical consideration. These steps will ensure that the study provides accurate and reliable results that can be used to inform investment decisions in banks. So, uh, you can see at the screen the first chapter is about the main stages of investment process in banks. And the investment process in banks is complex and multi-stage process uh, that involves a number of steps that may uh, the main stages of investment processes in banks typically include the following like research and analysis. For example, a bank may conduct research and analysis to identify potential investment opportunities in the renewable energy sector. And then uh, due diligence. Uh, for example, a bank may conduct due diligence on renewable energy company that is uh, that it is considering investing in. So then investing decisions. Uh, for example, if the bank uh, decides to invest in a renewable energy company, it may consider factors, factors uh, such as the potential return on investment and the level of risks associated with the investment the impact of the investment uh, on the bank's overall portfolio. And uh, next is the portfolio management. Uh, if the renewable energy, uh, energy company experiences a downturn in uh, performance, the bank may need uh, to reassess its uh, investment and consider uh, divesting its position in the company. Also, I would include their addition of four stages like identification of investment opportunities, investment strategy development, investment selection, and also performance evaluation. Overall the investment process in banks involves a systematic approach to identifying, evaluating, and managing investment opportunities. By following a structured process, a uh, bank can help ensure that their investments are align it with their overall investment objectives and uh, manage it in a way that maximizes returns while minimizing risks. So we can move uh, to the next part. So the next part is about the case analysis. I'll choose the VP Bank's investment process here. So uh, the VP Bank is committed uh, to an active investment approach. This approach is based on a transparent and institutionalized investment process for which the decision-making process is systematic, well-documented and based clearly on defined responsibilities. So uh, the investment process consists of three steps, as you can see at the screen. Like strategy, the starting point uh, is the definition of long-term strategic investment allocation. This allocation is determined on the basis of the client's risks. And so the next one is tactics. In the second step, VP Bank adjusts the long-term strategic uh, weightings based on a respective current market assessments. And the implementation. 
The third step involves the actual portfolio construction, for example, the specific selection of financial instruments. Uh, based on tactical market assessment, VPBank selects the instruments that enable to optimal and consistent implementation of the market assessment. So uh, we can move to the next the selection process. Based on a strategic and tactical guidelines, the portfolio construction aims to select the appropriate investment instruments in order to reproduce the weighting targets for the uh, respective investment classes. And VP Bank Group follows two principles in this regard, like market efficiency, markets where a little added value can be achieved throughout active security selection, Group use cost-effective passive investment opportunities such as exchange uh, traded funds and the best manager selection. In markets where active managers can generate added value and it's also possible to identify such providers, Vivi Bank looks to select such a fund manager. So uh, this uh, is chapter two, is about the investment activity um, of uh, commercial bank problems and its implementation. So uh, in a modern economy, an origin problem is an increasing competition between commercial banks and the provision of services and customers. One of the important factors of increasing competitiveness between credit institutions as well as to the successful long-term functioning of banks, the effective use of financial assets strengthening financial stability and liquidity. So uh, it is custom customary to distinguish three main stages of process of implementing banking investment activities, like the stage of making a decision on investing, determining investment goals, and implementation of the investment processes, conclusion of various uh, contracts aimed at the performance of work uh, or the provision of services. And the third one is the stage of operation of the created object uh, of investment activity. At this stage, the process of uh, production of goods, performance of works, provision of services is organized at a system of sales uh, of the created goods uh, arises. Uh, in the opi opinion of um, Sinikova and Kimochkina, investment banking is a Norway concept that concept that investment mediation. Banking investment mediation is uh, interaction with business entities in the forms that define the role of banks and com uh, commission agents. So uh, participation of banks in the development and implementation investment projects and enterprises. Uh, in a word practice, the uh, safest investments are considered to be in government bonds, which are secured by the, their economic weight and solvency of the state. There are also no investment of commercial banks in securities such as stocks in modern conditions. Um, commercial banks are prohibited uh, from having a total amount of investments in the authorized funds of other economic entities are more than 10% of their unauthorized funds. At the same time, the participation of a commercial bank at the authorized funds of one enterprise may not exceed 15% of authorized funds of this uh, enterprise. Uh, when forming an investment, put investment portfolio, banks recreate in it in such a way that the stock of liquid assets is about uh, one divided three, uh, one of three of its volume and investments in investments for profit two uh, of three. Thus, the securities portfolio is the instruments with the help of which the investor is provided with a required stability of income with minimal risk. So. Uh, uh, the next part is a conclusion, identify the significance and give recommendation. In conclusion, uh, the content and main stages of investment process in banks are crucial in overall success of banks' investment portfolio. 
through this uh, research, it was found that the content of investment processes in banks includes investment policies, objectives, strategies, and risk management. The main stages of investment processes include setting investment goals, selecting and analyzing investment opportunities, and making investment decisions and monitoring the investment portfolio. And overall, uh, content and main stages of investment processes in banks are crucial for investing investors looking to generate returns on their investments by providing a range of investment options and advisory services. Banks, and banks help investors make informed decisions about their investments. The four stages of planning, analysis, implement, analysis, implementation and monitoring ensure that investments are aligned with the investors' financial goals and objectives while minimizing risks. And the significance of this research is evident in its contribution to understanding of investment processes in banks by understanding the content and main stages of investment processes. Banks can improve their investment portfolio management and increase their profitability. Additionally, the research highlights the importance of effective risk management in investment processes to protect banks from potential losses and based on findings it is recommended that banks implement a comprehensive investment policy that outlines investment goals strategies and risk management measures banks should also conduct through analysis and do diligence when selecting and making investment decisions moreover regular monitoring of the investment portfolio should be done to ensure that the investment objectives are met and risks are managed effectively. So that was the end of the presentation. I hope that you can take for yourself something new or something interesting. So uh, thanks for the pre precious time and for the uh, attention. Enjoy.